time of year, we're seeing a lot of squash at farmer's markets, at produce stands. And I'm at Bauman's Farm and Gardens with Brian Bauman. And Brian, you know, for us um, grocery shoppers, we're seeing a lot of um, different kind of squashes. But what if we're, we're planting them at home? When do we pick them? So I use really two cues to tell me when a squash is ready. The color of the squash and also the vines, how okay. they look. So when you're talking about color, um, with a lot of your squash, this is where it was touching the ground. Okay. And so once it gets that nice golden, almost orange color on its bottom, that's a good indication that it's ready to go. Okay. And I also look, because um, sometimes with some other types of squash, like you mentioned, there's lots of varieties, you also want to wait till all the, the vines have died back, which is another good indication that it's ripe and ready to go. All right. And now this is an acorn squash, and it's love eating. I love eating them. You put mm -hmm. them in the oven and a little brown sugar, and you're done mm -hmm. with it. But what about all these other ones? They're just gorgeous. And a lot of people, this is the only squash they've ever tried and there's actually other varieties that are wonderful this is by far my son's favorite and my mom's favorite this is called delicata and again you can see it has a nice golden color to it so mm -hmm. that's a good indication that it's ripe and all you have to do to cook this is put it in the microwave for three minutes then poke some holes in it put it back in the microwave for another three minutes then cut it in half scoop out the seeds and then like you said add your butter brown sugar another three minutes and within 10 minutes dinner's done Wow, and to get a kid to eat squash, wow, that's My is kids excellent. love it, but that's only the beginning, too. There's lots of other varieties. Um, this is what we call pie pumpkin. Okay. Um, it's pie called that because of the size of the pumpkin. It's about the right size for a pie, and it has less water than some of the other pumpkins. Okay. But actually, if you're going to make pumpkin pie, sweet meat squash is the best actually for making pumpkin pie. And it's like a blue pumpkin or a blue squash. It looks like it, yeah, but it has not nearly as much water content, so your pumpkin pies turn out a lot better. Nice. And then, of course, butternut, which makes lovely soup. Wonderful for that. Um, we also have another one called um, Baby Blue, mm -hmm. which is the small Hubbard squash. And you can tell because the <laughs> large Hubbard squash is so big, sometimes it's hard to get that much in Oh my One gosh, sitting. it would feed like 25 people. Yes. <laughs> Brian, there's a few more that we need to talk about. So what else do you have here? This is actually called a gold nugget, which is by far the best keeping squash. This will hold for months in your garage or in just a cool place in your house. Ah, nice. And also, this is actually on the other end of the spectrum. This is called a buttercup. And this one actually doesn't keep very well. Probably about two to three weeks in your garage or a cool place. Mm -hmm. um, but it has, it is the most dense squash per the size of it. Mm -hmm. And it is very, very sweet. One of our best sellers. Ah, great. Now what about these little guys? I use these just for decoration, but can we eat them too? They're actually edible, ah. believe it or not. And a lot of people don't know that, but they work great for decoration. They hold up really well. Um, but it's kind of something fun for the kids to eat too sometimes, <laughs> just to give them a try. Oh, great. But we have lots of different varieties at Bowman Farms, um, so you can always come out. We have a great staff that knows a lot about the, all the different types of squash, and um, there's so much to choose from. It's a lot of fun. Well, you know, there's always fun to come out here. You know, Thank there's you. just not the squash and everything else, all the different other kind of things. But really, to get out in the garden and finish off all those squashes and bring them in and maybe make some recipes. It just feels like fall. It does. Yeah. It does. Well, thanks so much. You're welcome. Thank you.